news shouldn't come as a surprise to you guys that the Xbox One has another 900p resolution game. Yeah, you didn't see that one coming, did ya? The funny thing is that this game, for all sense and purposes, shouldn't be that fucking demanding. Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare doesn't scream Battlefield 4. I'm gonna relax, I'm gonna chill, I've had my rage and educate you mongoloids and beasts. There is a simple reason why these games are not hitting 1080p. One, we're very early on in the console's life cycle. There's developers that haven't optimized their game engines enough. Two, the Xbox One is simply underpowered compared to the PlayStation 4, and that is the only reason. Those that deny there's a difference are ignorant. Their belligerent nature is blinding them to the obvious facts. The PlayStation 4's unified RAM and superior GPU has put the Xbox One into a tricky position. And to be as specific as possible, it is a true equilibrium. It is the exact opposite. Its RAM isn't unified and it doesn't have the bandwidth necessary, loading large enough textures from the game engine and to keep a consistent frame rate. Because even though it has an additional 32 megabytes of super fast RAM, this really does mean double or even triple the amount of time it takes to do the same task it does on the PlayStation. And please consider the Xbox One's current position in cells. There just isn't enough time to optimize every little bottleneck. And even if it did run at full capacity, they got it working perfectly. There is no guarantee or even a logical explanation why it should compete with the PlayStation. Unless you have forgotten this is GDDR5 RAM. Unified. That RAM is designed for graphics first and foremost. And you may still call me a fanboy. I haven't raged, I've tried to be as honest as possible. But these are the facts that are presented to me. I don't get it, it's like you want me to go crazy and go SHEEE! But if you want me to be honest and to the point, this is as clear as I can get, and I haven't even mentioned the GPU. To keep this in layman's terms, the Xbox One's is basically an entry level, and the PlayStation 4's is a mid-range card. So does it come as any surprise why they're optimizing it more when the potential is there in the PlayStation? If you want to blame anyone, blame Microsoft for bundling the Kinect for having multiple operating systems, for caring more about the TV features than the games. So if you are a subscriber, please, please, understand where I'm coming from. Especially if you see me doing it for shits and giggles, trying to be entertaining. This is YouTube. I just turn it on like I turn on bitches, I'm a BASE!